Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video on something I um, I started messing around with recently and I just think that everybody should probably have a look at this because it's very handy, very useful and it makes uh, my drum kits uh, easier to use. So basically what it is, is it's a drum rack and what I've done is I've put a lot of samples into this drum rack and I can change the samples using these uh, macros. So if I have, let's say, We'll just go down here and just focus on the kick. If I'm just playing the kick and I want to change the kick, I can turn the knob here. And I can apply that to pretty much all the sounds. So it just kind of saves me time flicking through samples and it also kind of gives me an avenue to put my sample packs into Ableton and kind of keep them there safe. So I'll just show you how I do it, okay? It's very easy. Just drag a drum rock into a new channel and then get a sampler. And drop the sampler on C1. Then open up your, uh, like a sample pack you have. I have Grey Forge by Machine. So this is a good example because I can't get my machine sample packs into Ableton. So this is a good way to do that. So if I get my kicks, open the kick folder. Um, I might want to just do that by type. And sort that. And there we go. All the kick samples are here. Is that them? I don't know. I can never tell. Okay, so all the WAV files. So basically just go down to the end and get all the WAV files, select all of them, and drag them over here into drop sample here. Okay? So then I can get rid of that for the moment. I go to the zone option on the sampler, and I get this whole new menu, okay? So in this menu, you want to come up here to the top right-hand corner, and you want to select the select button. Or, I think it's select. It's S-E-L. Then you can see this little blue, um, this blue dial here. Uh, so you need to like right click on that, go to distribute ranges equally. Okay. And then what you do is come down back to your drum rack, put out the macros. You've got the macros here. Click on the blue thing and then just go to uh, link to macro one. Okay. Now, depending on how many samples you have, I have 84 samples here. If you have anything over 127, um, this this won't work very well. But I I only have 84. So, and the reason that is is because the dial goes up to 127. So that means for each number you can have a sample, but it's divided equally on all these numbers. So, just to give you an idea, now all my kicks are there on this one. So if I just put in the old bump bump, turn off this one. Now I can cycle through the samples like that. And you can pretty much do that for the entire pack. Sometimes I like to hold down control and just move it across one. Then I go in uh, to my kick folder, go back, we'll go for claps, okay, take all the claps, drag them, drop them, go to zone, Whoop. zone, select, distribute, right click, link to macro 2, and now I've got all my claps on this one. Um, I could just do that again. I could do it twice even. Dup. Go to this one. Uh, take down, go here, go here. Blup. Go hi-hats. Sort by type because I don't want the Ableton clip files. Take the hi-hats here all the way down. Take that one. Shloop. And all my hi-hats. And the next one, 
last one. So um, back here, go here, Shoop. and percussion. Uh, just go over. Here. Oh. Um, type sort by wav. Uh, are they all? Okay, I'll just go down from here. Grab those ones all the way in here. Oh. And there's all my perk. Okay. So I would just have to come back to the hi hats, go to select, right click, distribute, uh, macro link this to three, then select distribute and macro link to four and there you have it there's four like there's a drum machine basically and i can use this to basically change the sounds and cycle through the sounds until i kind of get that beat that i'm looking for um what i would suggest is you can do this for as many as you want but you can only use eight macros so with that being said, um, it just kind of stick to eight. And if you want to add more, just make two drum racks. Um, it's a bit better. Uh, what I would say as well is always save these things because take a bit of time to kind of create. So if you save the actual file, then you can pull it out anytime you want. Um, you just go to hit this save file here, and then just call it techno, tech, yeah, techno drums techno e techno techno and there you go techno and that's in my user library so it's saving all the files into the user library and if you're using ableton 10 what's really handy is this new feature where you have the colors come on finish Ugh. techno if I just right click here and go to favorites and then come into my favorites I've got my techno drum kit here and I can I can bring that out anytime I want now and let's just kind of go back to take remember just hit the zone to get rid of that menu because that one kind of spooked me for a while um, so now I have my drum kit here I can put in whatever I want maybe a clap here Maybe clap, clap here, do the casual hi-hats, just here, here, and here, and then a xylophone, or I don't know, a bit of perk, casualness. What's cool is I have a push controller, so on my push controller, it just comes up, kick, clap, hat, and perk, and stuff, so... See what I mean? You just like, and you could do this live. This is a great thing if you're doing a live set, because you can like change your drum kit on the fly, and you only have to have one going, so you don't have to have all these samples running. You can just be like changing the beat. But that's it anyway. I hope that's um, helpful um, to everyone and that it makes sense um if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and i'll be happy to answer them and yeah uh check out my youtube channel mark db on youtube uh, i put up some stuff about analog synths and stuff like that so check that out but uh yeah i'll leave it there have a good day